So I'm Matthew Allen, uh, I'm a PhD student at Cardiff University in Physics and Astronomy. We're at the Cardiff National Museum out in the steps here and there's a few thousand people here. Um, we're here to see the partial solar eclipse today, uh, which is going to happen in a few minutes time. So the solar eclipse is caused by the moon passing in between the Earth and the Sun. So the, as the Earth rotates around the Sun and the moon rotates around the Earth, every once in a while the moon passes in between the Sun and the Earth. Uh, and when this happens, it blocks all the sunlight from the sun reaching us down here on Earth, and this is when we get a solar eclipse. Uh, they don't have, actually have a lot of scientific value anymore. They've been used for some really good science in the past, and Einstein's theory of general relativity was actually partially proved by the 1919 solar eclipse. But nowadays, they don't have a lot of scientific value to them, but there's a really good thing to come out and watch. I think it's really fantastic you know, to have a few thousand people out here just in the centre of Cardiff today to, to get people to all come out together and all enjoy it. And lots of people have different telescopes and cameras set up, and we're all looking through each other's cameras. So uh, this is sort of named the colander eclipse because people find if you hold a colander up with lots of really small round holes in it then you can actually get lots of images of the solar eclipse so it's a really nice homemade way of being able to see the solar eclipse for absolutely no money at all so I think it's a really good chance for everyone to kind of get together and to get excited about astronomy